Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. And, for the first time in a long time, we are in an all-new town. So, wait, why are you standing in front of your door? I'm sure I can hear screaming. Really? Let's, let's find out. Uh, no, I'm not going to scream into the microphone. Although, I guess that would have worked on a joke level. We're obviously being blocked out of all these places. Did we come here too early or something? No. Maybe we have to go here. This is where all the action will be centered. In this town, so... There's a guy on the ground. She caught me off guard. I don't know who you are, but please protect the master. Oh yeah, we'll do that, buddy. All right. Okay, yeah, we did. Okay, we got a cutscene. There you are, Jessica. Come with us. Let's have a picnic. <clears throat> don't come any closer. I don't know who you are, but I won't let you hurt Master Dominico. All right, well, we know who one person is. What are you mumbling about, David? What could you <clears throat> possibly do to protect me? You useless good-for-nothing. Move! Move! Ah, of course, Master. Listen to me, girl. I am Dominico, the great magician. I presume you have come for me. Well, I regret to inform you that I knew you were coming. I foretold this encounter. Okay. Consequently, I have already mastered the spell necessary to eliminate a pesky little wand waver like you. Like you. So, away with you. Go back to where you came from. Alakazam! All right. <laughs> Such a pity. Such a pity. You can't see how useless your feeble enchantments are against the might of this scepter. Already it has claimed the lives of four heirs. What? Huh. Enough of your trickery. Whoa, he can just keep Nothing doing that? He can resist my magic. All right. It is time to end this now. Watching you struggle on in vain is just too pitiful. Look at that. Just walking in the circle. What's this? Hi! Well, you were quicker than I expected. <laughs> well, it seems your pathetic circle has helped you after all. If it hadn't bought you some time, you'd already be dead. Don't worry, you're safe. For now. I'm not in the mood to take you all on at once. I just haven't got it in me. If I were you, I'd prepare a more sturdy defense for our next meeting. And perhaps a shroud! It's a great, like, kind of line, and perhaps a shroud. Also, she sounds surprisingly like the witch from Evil Dead 2. That, uh, that was a narrow escape. Oh, Master Dominico, are you hurt? Get off me, you disgusting piece of filth. 
This isn't a chance for you to wheedle your way into my good books. Master Domenico is probably about as uh, as hateable I, as I the was little snot. I to. I just... Uh... Enough! Go and give Sir Leopold his dinner. Can't you see I have business to attend to? So yeah, he's yeah, he's a horrible human being. Oh, of course, Master. One of two in the game, I think. Yo, it seems I am indebted to you. Come. So, uh, let's go check some stuff out. Woohoo, wizard staff! Awesome. I don't know if that's actually that awesome or not. I think we, don't we already have one of those? I think magical staff is the next kind of neat staff thing, like. Because it'll have an interesting use. Alright. I don't know who you are, but I imagine you know who I am. You've heard of the great magician Domenico, I presume. What an honor to have helped me. How lucky you are. I will permit you to dispense with formalities and simply call me Master Domenico. Now then, that wand waving splat. She said something rather ominous about coming back, did she not? Well, even the great Domenico cannot magic up a barrier stronger than the one I had already erected. So despite having thanked you already for helping me before, I shall now bestow you with the honor of running a little errand for me. You accept, no doubt. Good, now then. There has long been a family of stonemasons in this town called the Clan of Bartles. There are two jewels known as the Clan Spinels, which have been in that family for generations. The jewels have a tremendous magical power. I've asked them to give me the gemstones before, but the last clan bottle was a stubborn old fool. He refused to listen to reason. So your task is simply to persuade the clan bottle family to hand over the clan spinels. However stubborn they are, I'm sure they wouldn't ignore a truly heartfelt plea. Anyway, the method you use is up to you. I only care about results. I will be unable to construct a barrier capable of warding off that pesky wand-waving wench without those jewels, so hurry along. Oh, you foolishly forgot to ask me. The clan Bartles live in a tiny little place situated just below the fountain in the courtyard. Ugh, that was obnoxious. Okay. Anywho. Now, okay, good. Now we can run around and just dig through treasure. Uh, this is a confusing freaking town, by the way. Okay. Apparently, it's that lady's job to just stand and stare at that table. All right. Aha! Good stuff. Yay! Mini metal. Awesome. All right. So, yeah. So, we're going to strategically try to go through this, this town. One building at a time. It's going to be a little rough. Magic water. Lesser panacea? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. So, how's everybody doing? What's bad, vertical sandwich? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So, I can't wait to hear my Domenico impression back. Because when it started coming out of my mouth, I was like, that doesn't sound too bad. Like, I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell. Because, like, the way it sounds in my head is never the way it sounds, you know, on tape. But. All right, good. That guy's not talking about how he's sure he can hear screaming anymore. All right, all of the buildings in this stupid town are gonna be like stone mason themed, I think. All right, come on, give us good stuff. Yeah, see the big blocks of stuff. Dragon dung. Is that a first? Have we got that already? It's an alchemy pot thing that I don't think I'll ever probably use. But. And a gold bracer. Meh. There actually will be an alchemy recipe we'll be using a gold bracer in 
later. I think. I'm not sure. I'm really not. I wish I was. Because then I could just tell you. I could just be like, oh, it's blah, 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 plus blah, 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 plus blah, blah, blah. I think it's like spangled dress plus gold bracer plus something equals. I don't know. All right. You got to watch, too, because I know in at least one place we're going to go into, there's a treasure chest, like, hidden behind a statue. Or a pot or something behind a statue. Strength ring in... 27 gold. All right. And there will be some stuff we have to do in the town, obviously. We've got to talk to people about getting these crayon spindle spinels or whatever. It's not, uh... Alright. Okay. Yeah, see, they're tricky here. Like, look at that. Like, there's pots hidden next to statues. So you won't see them when you walk in. And they have really good stuff in them. Seed of life, mini metal. Alright. Who cleans up all this broken pottery and stuff, you know? We make quite a mess. All right, anything else? Well, doesn't look like it. Okay. Onward, forward, forward, onward. Downward, backward, crossward. Oh, we did that joke already. All right. I love cabinets. A dragon scale. Okay, well... Now we've got two extras. We could make another whip for Jessica if we wanted to. Here it is. This is the one that's like just kind of positioned so you wouldn't see it. And a giant mallet. I'm not sure. That's got to be a downgrade for Yangus, right? Because like we've got the Bardisha Binding, which is just a ridiculously powerful weapon for him. There's maybe two more scythes stronger than that, if my memory serves me. So... All right, anything in here? This is where the Cran Bartles live, by the way. This is their place. So. And they have crappy stuff. They should be ashamed of themselves. So, uh, we don't need to talk to this kid just yet. We will, at some point, have to talk to him, because he'll, I don't know, he'll, he'll talk to us. I, I, he's he's part of the plot. What can I say? I just All right Into the tavern with us or the pub or the whatever is it a pub? I don't know. I don't know what they Magic water again magic water actually is a reasonably handy item if you remember to use it I always forget to use it but it, you know, it's the healing item for magic points, so... Anything back here? Except the hot girl in the skirt? Nope. Alright. What would life be like if all women actually did wear bunny tails? I don't know. Bunny ears. Would it be sexier? Would it? I don't know. I, I, yeah, I guess that's open for debate. All right, and I actually uh, think that this is the other kind of plotline house where I think we have to talk to this guy. But uh, we're not going to be doing that right now either. I think there's a lot of alchemy recipes in his bookshelves and stuff, but, like, we're not worried about that either. Because alchemy recipes, oh my god, we'd make this LP eight times as long if we picked up all the alchemy recipes. It's bad enough I'm like an item junkie. I just hate buying stuff. I hate having to buy stuff. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm the Ebenezer Scrooge of LPers, apparently. I don't even like spending fake money. <laughs> Alright. See, it's places like this where there are like doors that go off of other doors or other rooms and stuff. This is the stuff that bothers me. Uh, okay, some bookshelves. Yeah. A cow pat, another alchemy thing. That we might actually be using. There's a there's a helmet. There's that you can use that you use a cow pat to make. That uh is actually pretty decent an item, I mean really. 
I say pretty decent, actually might be like the third or fourth best like helmet for one of our characters, so. <clears throat> Alright. A bunny tail. We have way too many of those. And nothing. Who who keeps empty barrels around? What did, I guess if you you could use them as tables and stuff. Alright. At least like every room has a place for like stuff in it. Oh, that room didn't have any stuff. Like, uh, it's no fair having pl a place for stuff when there's no stuff. Okay. Alright. Well, this is good. Once we go in here, we'll have, like, the whole kind of southern half of the town cleared out. Which is good. Uh, this is gonna be another place with, like, things off of other things, isn't it? I guess this is the way we're gonna go. All right, There's a lady working on a statue. We find rock salt, which is ironic. Whoa! Oh. That's not. That's not even a joke. That's just sad. Anyway, okay, what are we doing? We're digging for stuff. We're going through other people's stuff. Cause that's, cause that's what RPGs are all about. A bathroom. Awesome! Look at that tub. It's got water in it. That's crazy. Okay, and we've already cleaned out Dominico's house, so we don't have to worry about that. So, uh... I don't know, I guess the church. There might be something in the church. I don't know if that's a thing in this game, though. I don't know if there's ever... A breakable or like openable. Oh, there was in the first town. There was a treasure chest and stuff in the first. Actually, the first church was kind of like a tutorial, where there was like a treasure chest, and like a, a, a cabinet, and a barrel. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, this. Put us up north a little bit. Okay, so this is where we're cleared out to about, right? Yeah, Dominico's front gate. All right, into this mysterious unmarked door. A mystifying mixture. All right, so much for that. I mean, we got something. I can't complain. We got something. So we're slightly richer than we were when we walked in. Because even the worst item sells for a, a gold coin. All right. Oh, this is the this is the that's the behind the scenes door. Take that and that. Ah. Okay. Fine. I don't want your precious treasures anyway. I kind of actually do. In fact, I, I really do. But what are you going to do? Really? Okay. Well, we I think with the item shop done, then that'll leave... Oh, what the... Well, the inn here. And uh, I think that there's a weapon in an armor shop in here. So... What's in the inn? Hmm. All right, lady, give me all your money. And your comic books. And some food. And a bandana so I can cover my face so you can't identify me later. Ah, right. uh, mini metal. Good. Mini metals always come when the jokes are thickest. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. That is probably not true. I don't know. Somebody could track it back. What am I, I talking about? Like, this is my RPG LP, so like nobody's watching this. People will watch it months from now. Is what'll happen? Is I'll get comments on it months from now, where people are asking me questions about how to do stuff, <laughs> which is fine. Whatever. I don't. Know. All right. So this is another little, another mini metal. Awesome. I wasn't making a joke there, so the system doesn't work. Alright. 
We gotta find a good spot to shut this down is what we gotta do. We're getting real long on time here. I guess we'll go in here because this is the last building and stuff and uh... Yeah, we'll shut it down here. So, bye everybody!